Welcome back. You gotta stop worrying about things that are outside of your control. Today we're looking at deep, dark water. You know, the one thing that bothers me more than anything else. You see, I've been making videos since I was a little kid. And when YouTube came around, I knew someday that was gonna be for me. What I didn't know is that my fear of the water was gonna be the main thing driving my channel. I'm only jokingly upset about it. I think it's kinda cool that we bonded over this, you and I. So let's just continue to bond over this, shall we? And if you're here and you don't have this phobia, and you're just here to laugh at us, fair enough, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. I think we're gonna need headphones. I see a lot of videos on the horizon. The title is just, Oh Hell Nah. Oh Hell No. Dude. <laughs> it's like the normal horror of the deep ocean and the waves, but the ice gives it that extra level of bad visibility. You can't even see the dark, but you know it's there. And then on top of that, you can't see what's in the dark, which is most likely nothing. You know, there's not a big sea beast right below the waves. We technically know that, but in our hearts, we forget that sometimes. Or I do, at least. You took about four hours of paddling and now we're here. This is just amazing. I've never been anywhere like this before. Absolutely huge. Don't forget guys, this is the same thing that looks like this from my shoreline. I see something in the water. Do you guys oh see that? God. Yeah, that what is that? Is that a jellyfish? This really would be the worst place to get a puncture. So I'm trying to be careful. But I just wanted to show you the scale of this thing. I mean, Dude. this is my paddle. And, I and don't need the scale. Is. It's absolutely huge. As amazing as this is, I probably do need to get in because it took four hours to get out here, which means it's going to take at least four hours to get back in. Holy smokes, those things are freaking huge. There's like a bunch of them. There's like a hundred of them. They're massive and they go all the way down to the sea floor, which granted probably isn't super deep, but it's definitely pretty far out there based on this image. So it's probably pretty deep. So yeah, spooky, scary, yucky. Ever seen the bottom of an iceberg? Now these little divots, it just looks so creepy. It's huge, like look how small that person is. And this is how I know I have this phobia. I don't think there was ever any doubt, especially at this point, but I look at this and I see all the stuff I just listed, but what really gets me, the person taking this photo is with their back to the abyss. They're underneath this iceberg and they're, you know, whatever, 50 feet down, 20 meters down, whatever you want to call this, and the abyss is right behind them. They're looking up at this massive iceberg and the dark is just everywhere around them. Ugh, despicable. <laughs> We've seen this before, but that does not mean it's not horrifying. I think last time I compared it to that one biome in Subnautica below zero that's just this ravine kind of crater thing. And just the fact that it it goes down and gets dark and you never know which, how many little tunnels and stuff there are in there. Freaky, bro. POV, you're in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Jeez. Dang, that's, look how small of an area the water hasn't touched. It's not like a cliff or anything, it's just water. So like, you're not gonna like fall in or something, but still the, the feeling of that must be pretty weird. I know it said Indian Ocean, but how do you find this? <laughs> That's crazy. Also, this is a minor irrelevant gripe, okay? POV means point of view, meaning the person whose POV it is, it should be their perspective. POV, you're in the middle of the Indian Ocean, should be a view from his perspective on the island. First cruise in five years, 2 a.m. man overboard in the middle of the ocean. I just wonder how many times, because it's probably more than zero, how many times they just called off the search because they couldn't keep it going. I don't like that. That's kind of a whole separate thought, but yeah, man overboard. Hopefully they found this person. Oof, here we go. Jeez, what a storm. Is this a boat or an oil rig? I can't tell. It looks really big like a boat, but it doesn't look like they're moving. But it's also hard to tell, so I don't know. Either way, being out in the ocean in that kind of storm? Hell no. <laughs> Crater Lake drop off at Cleetwood Cove. I'm gonna hate this so much. Oh, dude. I'm glad the video ended kind of quick because I hated that. 
dude. Crater Lake, this is in Oregon. This is like, I've been wanting to go here, honestly, but now, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't go in the water if I went, unless I was thrown. Yeah, like I knew it was deep, but that that's a drop off. Look how close it is to the shore. There's people just walking around right here. You know, you're kind of goofing with your friends and then you realize you've gone past the threshold and now you're above the crater of Crater Lake. Ugh, that gives me the heebie-jeebies, dude. Dude. The way that it just comes out of nowhere. What a wild video. I don't think I'd be like cheering. I'd be like, can we get the hell out of here, please? Before another one shows up underneath us. Ball's Pyramid is a volcano in Australia. Imagine falling off a boat and swimming towards it in the distance. This is crazy. To think this is a volcano, it says, I assume it's not active. Me and my absolutely non-existent volcano knowledge, it doesn't look active to me. It looks like a big just spike. I assume that this cone shape extends down into the water, which means at the base of this, you have just this sheet of essentially rock just going down to the seafloor. I know I've already talked about Subnautica once, but this is very Subnautica to me because I always hated the like mountain in that game where you get close to it and it's just like a wall that you can't really get on so you're just kind of helplessly next to it but it's like you feel worse being next to it for some reason because all it does is serve to remind you that the water is deep and it goes down no thank you <laughs> did I mention I was afraid of the ocean why is this the smallest video I've ever seen oh dude I mean, it looks tiny on this this cropped, cropped, cropped video here, but but it just tosses the boat like it's a toy in a bathtub. Oof. I feel like it'd be so nauseous. Oh, gosh, dude. Oh, man. This boat is so big. But the way that it goes up and down so much is wild. Man, is that like a turtle right there? What is that right there? It basically gets crushed, whatever it is. Rip. Sorry if that was a creature. The Frightening Depths. Oh, it's this exact video again. But without the text on it. So I like it better. What's coming this way, dude? No, 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 no. What the hell? We got some wild ones today, man. That is crazy. I thought for sure they were going in the water. Whoa. Look at this, dude. Bro, what a chaotic video. It looks like it's chasing them right there and then it dips down. This is like out of a movie. This is an insane video. I'd be so scared after this, dude. Like, they're all celebrating, like, oh, that was crazy. But dude, that thing was just chasing you and all it did was dip below the water. It could be directly below you. Granted, I don't think it's actually trying to attack them, but like, that wouldn't stop me from worrying about it. <laughs> what a crazy video, dude. Wow, that was horrifying. Oh, I've seen this one. The scuba diver has like a panic attack, I think. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I remember this. Gosh, dude. It's hard to tell how far down they are, too. Jeez. 
they all agreed to go up and then this diver like was unable to move you can tell they're trying but not moving and I think that sent them into sort of a frenzy. That would be me. I can't point fingers. And then they started panicking, ripped their oxygen off, and they're trying to get it back in and they just get them to the surface. Such a stressful video, dude. I don't not like that. It's, it's creepy to think of like, this is like trained scuba divers. And to see one of them panic is like, Ugh, doesn't give me a lot of confidence that I'll ever be able to scuba dive someday. It's the ultimate conquering goal of mine to do it, but Videos like that do not help. In fact, this entire thing does not help. Ugh. I get that it's like, it's peaceful, it's relaxing and all that, but not for me, dude. I think being in the water while it's raining is a uniquely euphoric feeling. Not in the ocean, not in deep water. I'm talking like in a pool. You know, or you fill up the bathtub and turn on the shower. Repairing deep sea pipelines in my ocean horror game, Abyssal. I haven't heard of this game. This looks like, uh, what's it called? Iron Lung. Are there creatures in this game? It's on Steam. Adding that to my wish list. Why does this look so weird? What's the perspective here? Lake, rock, cliff. Water goes behind it and in front of it. Is this like a standalone rock? And it just happens to be lined up with this. That's a weird picture. Messes with my brain a little bit, but yeah. I don't like it. Clip from a thalassophobia based game I've been working on. Oh boy. Another one of those like low res on purpose style games. <sighs> Okay, that's it, I can do that, sick. I'm happy people are making these games. I feel like that's such a perfect thing for me. Thalassophobia games? I played Subnautica, I played Soma, I played Narcosis, I played Death in the Water, and I played Iron Lung, give me more. <laughs> it's called Full Fathom. I know I'm just giving people free advertising, but this is the kind of stuff I wanna be advertising. This looks great. Jeez, look at that shot. Despicable, keep them coming. Uh-oh. <laughs> No, dude. Do these videos always cut off so short? They gave us literally one second of underwater. Okay, two seconds. But yeah, from up here, you're like, okay. I mean, no, hell no. That looks hella deep from up here. What are you thinking? Oh, man. Ugh. <laughs> when there's this like fish all the way down to it creeps me out too. Cause it's like, this is an ecosystem that you're not supposed to be in. Oof open ocean what a brave dog man oh what a shot another one of those ones where you know the abyss is below them oh man is this the same guy that posts these every time it's gotta be it's the same video every time <laughs> what's happening here fellas Oh, I was so focused on the water, I did not see the storm rolling in. That is a hefty boy. This is in Brazil. <laughs> oh, when it said going under the bridge, you meant under the supports. Oh, gosh, dude. It's probably so deep there. Anytime there's a video of a jet ski, it's never like, oh, they're on a jet ski and they saw something scary. It's always, they're on a jet ski and they're doing the thing. That's scary. There's the one of the guy going right up next to a huge ship and almost getting sucked under. It is funny that that's pretty much true. It's this above and below that gets me every time. It's the imagination of thinking about everything around this video that really freaks me out. <sighs> Mine shafts, seen it. Cue the scary Minecraft sound. 
Cloud formation looks like a giant wave. That's not a giant wave, that's a cloud. I would still be so horrified to see this heading towards me. Where on earth does this happen and why? I would be pretty certain that this is the end of the world. That's crazy. Oh, this website that demonstrates how deep things are. This thing goes on forever. Twilight Zone. Uh, it's getting dark. Okay, 500 meters deep is crazy. Mako Shark. Sea Angel, I love those. Bamboo Coral, Japanese Spider Crab. Oh, it's getting dark. Uh, I don't want to keep scrolling. Sperm Whale Dive. Dang, is a sea turtle that goes down this far? Almost a thousand meters. The Midnight Zone, no sunlight is able to reach this deep. This is complete pitch dark zone from this point forward. Anglerfish. Orange Ruffy. Oh, the freaking goblin shark. Screw you, dude. Oh, bubblegum coral. That's so sweet. Dude, the fact that there's anything past this point. There's a shark that goes this far down. Six gill sharks spend the day in deep waters and the night in shallow waters. Dude, the introvert shark comes all the way down here to 1700 meters to get away during the daytime. It comes out at night. That's kind of sick. Narwhal. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, dude, <laughs> you're kidding me. 10,000 meters deep. It's crazy to think that there are undoubtedly creatures that aren't like cataloged yet or studied yet. Despicable. Being 10,000 meters deep, which is like six miles, way, way, way too far. I'm talking like three meters is too much for me, let alone 10,000. Underwater tennis stadium in Dubai, is this real? Why are there like a comical amount of giant fish up there? Is this photoshopped? Okay, proposed idea, it's never actually been built. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more just stupid fake it looks. Look at like the scale of the people, and then these are just like regular fish, but they would be like a hundred feet long, freaking. <laughs> record-breaking massive fish just in shallow water above the Ugh. <laughs> no thanks let's wrap up with this one this absolute chad sitting on the end of a ship i don't know what you call this thing but in a video earlier we saw this thing dunking below the water repeatedly so you're not safe here but just being in a situation where there's any chance that you could end up in the water next to a ship this big makes my skin crawl i tell you what that's crazy person behavior to do this but he's vibing and i can't knock that thanks for watching hopefully you got creeped out with me or had fun laughing at me don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you feel like it and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye